on my way to the Kate Spade presentation. It is at One, One World Trade Center. I'm trying to find the entrance right now because I don't know anything about this place, so we're just trying to figure it out. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited. This is my outfit. Just a little tip for you guys because I didn't know this when I started by when I first started buying blazers. But um, if you're if you buy a blazer and the pockets are like sewn together, it doesn't mean that it's a fake pocket. Um, you just have to take it out, especially with the um, sometimes blazers have like a little triangle in the back, um, and there's like a piece of thread connecting it. You're supposed to take that out too. that hasn't tried it like don't knock it until you try it it's so good true <laughs> I, had, I had the same camera oh you do yeah. isn't it the best yeah i wanted to be a fucking youtuber for like two seconds this would be the youtuber that never shows her face yeah the one, the, the one that that showed the thing I mean, truffle fries more escargot <laughs> mimosa champagne Empty. Wow. Empty. <laughs> used to be rosé. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I just love how the ease in which people honk their horn here. <laughs> it's symphonic. Casual shot. Yeah, you, you've been sitting the whole time. I've like, you could have been just recording. I know. Okay. 60 Thompson. It's the 60 Hotel. Okay. It's so nice meeting you. <laughs> nice to meet you guys too. <laughs> nice meeting you. Take care. Uh, <laughs> Everyone, I'm back at Revolve Gallery for their little TikTok night, but I want to show you guys 
my outfit. I want to show you guys what I'm wearing. It lives on. <laughs> One hour later. Y'all, when the girls said that this is a city that never sleeps. They were not joking. The sun is literally coming up right now and I haven't slept yet. And I went to Korean, I just came back from Korean barbecue and it was, the streets were so, still so popping at like four o'clock in the morning. I don't know how y'all do it. <laughs> but um, I'm packing right now. I didn't vlog this, but I went to Ramoa to buy another suitcase because all of this stuff is not going to fit in the stuff that I, uh, the luggage that I brought, so. This big old trunk. I don't have a luggage this size, so. It's going to be very helpful, especially when I go to Korea and the Philippines at the end of the year. Because I have to pack for two different climates. This is what I got at Acne Studios, by the way. I don't even know if you can see that. But I found this at a Bloomingdale's in LA, and I wanted it so bad, but they didn't have my size. Because this is technically a men's jacket. I buy, I buy men's clothing all the time. Um, but I went to the Acne store in Soho, and they had my size. <laughs> oh, yes. I need to show you this when I get home where I have a better mirror, but oh my gosh. It's going to be so perfect for when I go to Korea in the winter. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am back at home and I wanted to talk a little bit about my trip because I have some things to say. I guess number one is that um, I didn't know that I was going to like New York City as much as I did. I used to be a person who like slandered New York City because I'm a, you know, I'm a Cali girl. And so I was like, I don't understand why people would want to live in New York. It just doesn't seem that great. Don't, don't get it. Don't know why people want to live there. But after actually being there and you know this is one of those things where you don't judge a book by its cover or that you just don't judge something that you have never experienced before <laughs> don't knock it until you try it if you will um after being there i was only there for like four days or something like that and i actually really like new york um kind of hate how much i liked that city uh, I totally understand the energy that people are talking about. I could never live there. Don't get it twisted. I would never move there. It just seems exhausting, but it's, it was really nice to be there and visit. Yeah, I don't think I could ever live there. I just really like, um, yeah, just like the buzzing energy of the city. It's quite different to LA. LA is very, is a lot slower. LA is a, is a lot slower. Um, it also is a very like, you have to drive everywhere. In New York, you don't have to have a car. Um, the subway system pretty much can get you anywhere you need to go, whereas in LA, you just have to have a car. <laughs> um, I cannot imagine not having a car in LA. Um, but yeah, I really, really like New York. Wow. 
Also, this was my very first time at New York Fashion Week, so I didn't go to as many presentations or shows. I kind of just wanted to get the vibe of the city first. I wanted to experience New York City first before um, I really got into like the business surrounding it, like the, the fashion business surrounding the city. Um, so hopefully next New York Fashion Week, I can, you know, I would have a little bit more experience. Uh, and actually like go try to get into some shows and stuff like that But all in all like that was a really wonderful experience I did go to the Kate Spade presentation, which was absolutely gorgeous. I love like their whole um, 60s inspired wear that they did this season it's crazy because I was watching some of my older videos from when I first started making YouTube videos like in 2016 and I would have never imagined that I would be at like New York Fashion Week. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's kind of crazy how your dreams can come true if you persist and you work hard and work smart. I just, I just never thought that this was something that could be possible. Um, and now here I am. So I don't know, as corny as that sounds, I just, damn, I did that. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have a lot of work to do, a lot of work to catch up on, and I'm also going back to New York next week. <laughs> so I need to like repack for that specific trip. So I've got a lot of stuff to do, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.